Yo, 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 what is up, fam? It's your dude, fan of here. <laughs> Welcome to another video. This one's uh, we're gonna watch a video by Sunny B2, the rapper who got a $20 and Frank ta face tattoo. So let's check it out, guys. And a Frank fa face tattoo. Face tattoo first went viral back in 2017. Articles provided only a brief description of the person wild enough to do it. So we like Zan Frank, what the? Oh my gosh. Literally Zan Frank, he made a name say his, his name Zan Frank, guys. Remember? Find up a full interview with the rapper to get the full story of the Anne Frank face tattoo. Okay, okay. When the idea first came about, Arnold is Dead had recently dropped out of college. So then I tried the college thing. I tried. I, I didn't I didn't make it past the first semester. And was couch surfing. Bruh. I never tried college, man. I should have tried it though, right guys? We coulda Coulda made it. We coulda made it. Mm. It's hot where I live, man. To 105 degrees around Los Angeles by creating free music for any artist who'd let him stay over. At around the same time, Arnold began to notice the rise of the SoundCloud rap genre. He had the smoke perps, the little basically, man, like they get the face tattoo and then they get famous, it seems, guys. Little palms, the ski mask. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Masses, the XXX Tentacion. After which he began to emulate that kind of lifestyle. However, there was one thing he was missing which characterized almost every artist from that era. Face tattoos. <laughs> had gotten the Mona Lisa on his neck. Blueface had gotten Benjamin Franklin on his cheek. Yet Arnold is Dead was looking to make an even bigger statement. <laughs> Okay, I mean, it's not that illogical, you know, if everybody else is doing it and they're getting famous, Blueface, all of them, uh, might as well uh, take the plunge, right guys? I don't know. As a college dropout with no permanent residence, Arnold didn't have the best relationship with his family. Your mom kicks you out of the house. She thinks you're a piece of shit. Your dad doesn't. He thinks you're a piece of shit. None of your siblings talk to you. Which not only led to a problem with substance- Bro but also a bout of deep depression. Got to the point when when you're young and you're under, you know what I'm saying, the influence, you're not making the clearest of decisions. You're, you're not, you know. It's it's a really dark place. It was at this point that- Facts, bro, facts. I feel for, you know. That Arnold realized he wanted a permanent reminder that someone else always had it worse than him. And as a result, he chose a portrait of someone who'd had it worse than everybody else, later stating- See, They get tattoos because, you know, it has meaning, right, guys? So, you know. A similar upbringing. In an interview with The Sun, there are people in history that didn't have the power to control, to actually do things they wanted to do with their lives. To be stuck in a house and end up dying. Dude, I'm dying to make music. That's the way I look at it, it's very black and white. Recognized as one of the world's most famous tragedies, Arnold became certain that he wanted Anne Frank on his face. So then, the Eureka light bulb. People at BH are talking about me, what's up PRS? moment where that's cool that's cool where i thought i was gonna blast it on my face i haven't done bh for a while man so it could be like a reminder where i was like whenever you feel down and bad bro like on him frank bro like it was like a like a thanks bro fast we gotta like uh watch a documentary about Anne frank so i can get the full story i only know bits and pieces guys that's like a thing for me. Although instead of going to a professional tattoo studio, uh, he instead opted for a much riskier location. I uh oh, what? Go to my friend that was living in Pomona. His name's Ryan. I love this kid. His brother does tattoos out there. Why did I stop peeking? I stopped because uh, I'm getting a new laptop. Once my new laptop comes in, I could do peeking again house and I, yeah i run a brian's brother's house and i tell him about my genius plan he's like so genius how much money plan. do you have and i was like 20 bucks <laughs> 20 bucks for a tattoo oh my gosh bro most wouldn't even do it right guys 20 bucks for a tattoo like that and that's a big tattoo on the face as well man hey but friend's price though right friend's price <laughs> bro <laughs> yo <laughs> On the 20th of August 2017, for a home job price of $20, the Anne Frank face tattoo was finished, prompting an instant response from those who knew him. Bro, it doesn't even- I don't think it even looks that bad, guys. Can someone tell me why Teddy got a tattoo of Anne Frank big as on his face? Why? With many others echoing a similar sentiment. This is so irresponsible, and frankly, I do not approve. Oh snap, good pun there, good pun. Hey, might as well post on social media as soon as you get it, right guys? It's the day of age we're living in. It's a good way to reach everybody. 
Hey. Proof. How ignorant do people got to get for attention now, while others made the argument that everybody should be allowed to make their own choices? I mean, you didn't do it, so why do you care what other people do? That's just hating. If you don't like it, uh, it doesn't work the best for PKing. I can't play music while streaming doing it. Uh, the, the computer uh, I'm ordering comes back in. It should be coming in like five days, guys. You don't have to re I just saved up for like a month. Respond. Despite this initial burst of public attention, Arnold maintained that he hadn't orchestrated this to go viral. I didn't think this was going to be a viral thing. Bro, I was moving off my like heart. It wasn't a try to be like a viral thing. I was really into tattoos. I wanted to always be completely tattooed, inked up. Bro, I don't even play the game. That's fine. I had to tell, you see what I'm saying? Yet the uniqueness of the piece certainly helped to expand his network, becoming closely acquainted with XXX Tentacion and others. So working. Bro, it literally got him famous. I keep hearing about how tattoos get you famous, bro, but <laughs> it, it got him famous, kind of. With Ski Mask, I started working with Trippy Red, I started working with Warhols, I started working with Cole Bennett. Which eventually led to his now infamous meetup with the one and only Lil Xan. Arnold ex My infamous meetup with explained that he met Lil Xan while hanging out backstage at a festival. And we see that Lil Xan. And he's going backstage to festivals now. That's where all the cool dudes go, bro there so i just introduced myself we're just hanging out we're chilling we're smoking during which lil xan saw the tattoo and gave him a funny nickname we're just shooting jokes and he was like this is like xan frank like this is this is wild this on its own wasn't anything interesting <laughs> it said xan frank however when somebody from the media began talking to the two their evening took an unexpected turn oh, uh oh. hey yo lil xan who you hanging out with yo this is my boy xan frank that's it the internet broke that was it all the photos that went viral and to me Memes and everything came from them taking pictures of that day because they were still, like they were they were just capturing that exact moment. Rapper gets tattoo of Anne Frank on his face because he's dying for his music. Arnold Gutierrez, who goes by the name Zan Frank and Arnold is dead, stunned rap fans with a huge inking of the Jewish diarist. Bro, articles such as hey, for instant fame, kind of worth it, bro. But I wouldn't do it. I would not do it. This one helped Arnold. I don't, I don't think it's worth it. For me, for me personally, I probably won't get one. Social media to explode. After that, I wake up the next day and I have like 15k followers and the whole internet just wrecking my shit. Dude, like nearly instant fame, bro. So what's going on? <laughs> We gotta know if he drops a music video or something. <laughs> With the virality of the situation then leading to an Instagram post by Lil Xan announcing that Arnold was the new third member of Xanarchy. The post was amplified further when Adam22 reposted- Snap, big Adam22 reposted it as well. Adam and Zan are still friends, I think. The image to his Twitter with the caption Mood and Frank face tattoo before getting Arnold in a no jumper video titled He Got an Anne Frank face tattoo. This is the legend this is the that everybody's man. been talking about. Yeah, Zan Frank. Oh. <laughs> Give me your version of why you got the Anne Frank face tattoo. Let's hear it. What, what, what's my version? I don't know. Let's hear your version. I don't got a version, dog. Oh, well, Zan like, Frank, dog. Xanarchy. That's what, is that what inspired it? <laughs> well, now I'm at Xanarchy all day. Okay. Despite this, Arnold explained that people often didn't recognize who it was in the image. I get funny ones like, uh, is that your daughter? Is that your mom? Is that your girlfriend? And then I'm like, it's Anne Frank. Some people don't know who Anne Frank is. Which is surprising as a now deleted Reddit post of the tattoo received 4.8k upvotes on the ATBGE subreddit, which is a space dedicated to awful taste but great execution for everything that displays quality craftsmanship in the least elegant way possible. Not a bad yeah, bro, snap. Add compliment for a $20 home job. Others on the post expressed concern over his future employment prospects, yet the reply suggested that he might qualify for some niche roles, stating, tell that to the HR department at the Holocaust. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to get a job if you have an Anne Frank tattoo, bro. Cost museum, as well as standing at the exit offering pictures with his face, might be the best bet for a career. What the internet thought wasn't of interest to Arnold anyway, as he only cared about the opinion of one specific person. The only person's reaction is my mother's. She looked at me, bro, and she was like, oh, you're still my son, bro. I don't, I don't see that. Like, nothing, nothing changed. And if anything, the situation helped Arnold to take care. Yeah, that's good. His mom accepts him. That's, 
That's good. Care of his family, given he was now being presented with new opportunities, which he previously hadn't had access to. Now I had an opportunity to be able to walk into rooms that I wouldn't be able to walk into. Like I said, it wasn't the intention, but the fact that it happened like that, that's what made it 10 times better. One such instance was a meeting with a top executive at Republic Records, who turned out to be Jewish, but found the piece to be quite endearing. We took him to a meeting at Republic. Clearly, you know, she's like, shout out to the Jewish people. Yeah, she was <laughs> Jewish. And Frank, she was about to cry. Yeah, she was. Arnold then gave a description of that day in his own words. She comes from a Jewish background and she's one of the big label execs. She brings a lot of big artists there. You could Google her and she has a really big background in that. And we really had a heart to heart. Also, at that's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So seems to be a good like a uh, situation. They, they like it. They like it. I think that most people are polite in real life and have no problems with the piece outside. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a problem with it either, man. Out of the internet. I've never even had someone like use it as an insult. The only thing I've seen is like comments online and like people just bashing it. At around the same time, Arnold also got a Zanarchy tattoo on his neck, which is both strange and unfortunate as he never even joined the crew officially. And the relationship between Arnold and Lil Xan came to an end only three months after their first Wait, what? Oh, snap. So he did it. There was some bad parts to it. Mating. He's like not really part of Xanarchy no more. Really? Yeah, he's part yeah. of like a uh, very, like very rare. Very, very, very. Oh, okay. It's cool yeah. at all, but it's yeah. cool. Like we cool with them, but yeah. you know. Yeah. Well, was it the Anne Frank face tattoo that was too much? No. Arnold then explained that he was removed from Xanarchy after the group's management told him this. I had gotten kicked out from the group because they said I was like a bad influence to Lil Xan because I was like partying really hard. Which is interesting as Arnold has cleaned up his act quite significantly since getting the tattoo for the first time. I'm a lot more mellow now after having a daughter, after cleaning up and stuff like that. You know, I haven't taken... Dang, bro, I thought he was gonna have, like, some music or something. Xan's been a long time. Probably been, like, almost two years now. I'm not gonna continue doing Xanax, and I'm not, you know what I'm saying, gonna push that agenda. I don't think that's cool. Within the last month, Arnold did a photo shoot with the up-and-coming Jewish rapper BLP Kosher, who was recently interviewed by Nardwa, also getting a small feature in his Special K music video during the line, I'm a pass the blunt to Anne Frank. Arnold has also recently rebranded to La Pension, which is Spanish for DJ child support, combining his old skills of producing music with his love for Latin culture, ultimately hoping to spread a positive message. Instead of like pushing this whole agenda that everybody was following as a trend with uh, the drugs and all that stuff, let's. Dang, bro. So he doesn't, he's a DJ. I didn't know, I thought he made music. Like, you know, it's a SoundCloud trend, but you know, hey. Maybe, maybe I should get one. I'm not gonna get one, guys, but. Yeah. Interesting video, interesting video. See you guys next one. Later, guys. One's by Sunny V2 again. Later, guys.